हेलो एवरीवन आई एम मनाली रेशमवाला असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर फ्रॉम एलजे इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ फिजियोथेरापी टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट अ टॉपिक एंगल ऑफ पुल इट इज़ अ पार्ट ऑफ सिलेबस ऑफ एक्सरसाइज थेरापी वन सब्जेक्ट फॉर फर्स्ट ईयर फिजियोथेरापी स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ गुजरात यूनिवर्सिटी डेफिनेशन A force is most effective when it is applied at right angle to a lever. If any force is being applied at right angle, we can see that the rotatory component or vertical component is equal to the right angle force. If the angle of force is less than or more than 90 degree, then the components of it like a vertical and horizontal component which can be divided and more of the horizontal component will be used and in vertical component there will be less effective force than the right angle this thing can be understood as a mechanical efficiency of muscle and efficiency of the resistance we need to understand at which angle muscle is inserted into the lever that is a bone and at which angle it is most efficient for the movement as well as the efficiency of resistance at which angle the resistance given is most effective of the movement that should also be understood so first we will see the mechanical efficiency of a muscle the pull is most effective when the muscle is inserted at right angle to the bone the pull or force of contraction of the muscle is most effective as we here we can see at the 90 degree angle the rotatory component is equal to that of the force of action and it is most effective here let's see if the angle is more than 90 degree or less than 90 degree what would happen so first if the angle of pull is less than 90 degree the efficiency decreases as the angle of pull is reduced some force is utilized in pulling the bone of insertion towards the joint this approximation has stabilizing effect on the joint which is greatest when the direction of pull of the muscle is longitudinal that is in the direction of long axis of the bone here we can say the force which is uh, with the angle of less than 90 degree here there are two components of force rotatory component and stabilizing component rotatory component that is a vertical component which is responsible for the movement while as the angle was less than 90 degree more of the stabilizing component will work and these kind of angle are kind of stabilizing or approximating joint can be considered the same way if the angle is more then also mechanical efficiency is reduced as in which the joint becomes less stable as here we can see that the angle of pull is more than 90 degree and here the rotatory and dislocating component that is vertical and horizontal component again are can divided where we can see the more of the dislocating work will occur and it will make the joint more unstable quickly revising it the angle of pull of the muscle if it is at 90 degree there is a 100% rotatory component and the maximum effect we can get if it is less than 90 the more of the stabilizing component and if it is more than 90 more of the dislocating component will occur and will reduce the efficiency of muscle pull next we will see is the efficiency of resistance for resistance also a sustained pull of force offering resistance or push of the force being given as a resistance is maximal when applied at right angle to the lever a force of resistance can be applied as a means of a rope and pulley or sandbags and dumbbells or elastic belt or through physiotherapist hand i would repeat it that any of the pull or push given 
as a resistance are giving maximal effect when it is applied at right angle to the liver to the moving bone here we can see an example a person is in sitting position with doing knee extension against resistance of elastic belt here when the knee is in the mid range that is between 90 and 0 degree that is the full extension in the middle area the pull or resistance offered by elastic belt will be highest then at the end range or starting range when a resistance is offered by physiotherapist at the time also it should be given at right angle to the uh, working bone and we need to remember that when a person is doing movement at that time the 90 degree angle for that muscle is also very efficient contraction so at that time we need to adjust the resistance required so reading the out during the course of movement when angle of the pull must vary at right angle maximal resistance is to be required pull of the muscle is most efficient at right angle so at that time the maximal resistance should be given when a bone moves around at the 90 degree angle the effect of resistance decreases as pull becomes acute or obscure as well as the it increases uh, the effect of uh, resistance decreases along with the uh, pull becomes more that means the effect is maximal when is applied at the right angle to the moving bone here are the references thank you